Hello and welcome to Right Now for Thursday the 14th of December 2017, I'm Tim Wilms. Both major parties have ramped up their attacks in the final week of the Benelong by-election. The coalition has sought to remind voters of Labor candidate Christina Keneally's relationship with corrupt New South Wales Labor politicians Eddie Obeid and Ian MacDonald, who are currently in jail, and the fact that she was installed as Premier by Obeid and Joe Tripodi in their latest campaign material. Labor is still accusing the government of engaging in Chinophobia and claiming that it is treating Asian Australians as second-class citizens. A news poll released earlier this week had the parties at 50-50, while a Reachtel poll today has John Alexander ahead 53-47. The Liberal primary vote has collapsed, however. This is likely due to the campaign by Australian Conservatives, which is running and which has been well received in No Voting Benelong. The latest NAPLAN results, which test Australian school children's literacy and numeracy, have been released. They have demonstrated that boys are suffering disadvantage at school, with one in four Year 9 boys failing to meet the national literacy standards, compared with 17.1% of all students. Of course, in education, most of the public advocacy is about encouraging girls to further their education, but as these results prove, it is the education of boys that needs more attention in education policy, and once again disproves the claim of male privilege. These results also prove the need for testing such as NAPLAN, as it is how we learn there are problems in our education system, therefore looking at ways to fine-tune education policy. Some news you may have missed is that the Maritime Union of Australia and the Construction, Forestry, Mining and Energy Union have been conducting an illegal blockade of the Victorian International Container Terminal. The Victorian Supreme Court has ordered union representatives to abandon the picket line. So far they have refused to comply and Victoria Police has refused to remove them and the Andrews State Government has refused to condemn the actions of the unions. 1,000 shipping containers worth millions of dollars in worth of stock have been left in limbo for weeks now. What triggered this blockade was the sacking of a union member who was denied security clearance because of a criminal conviction, which sounds like a pretty reasonable action by a company. It is another example of how union thuggery and intimidation is still rampant, particularly in Victoria. Democrat Doug Jones has claimed an upset victory in the Alabama Senate race, defeating Republican Roy Moore, who had been accused of sexual abuse of underage girls during the campaign. Commentators are claiming this is a huge blow to President Trump, who backed Moore after the allegations came to light. However, they have omitted the fact that during the Republican primary, Trump backed Luther Strange, but the Republican power brokers chose Moore. Alabama is Republican heartland, and Moore's loss shows there is certain contact voters will not tolerate. The US Senate is now only uh, 51-49 in favour of the Republicans, which will make it even harder for Trump to get his legislative agenda through Congress. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here again soon to see what is happening right now then.